Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to label your controls and power apps. If you enjoy power apps, SharePoint, Teams, and Power Automate videos, feel free to subscribe. Yeah, we put out content in those areas. All right, so labeling and power apps. So on the left hand side, as you can see, you have all your controls. If I click on insert, you have all these controls. And it's important to label these because if you're working on a multi-screen application and you have a ton of labels, it can get really difficult to distinguish between, let's say, label six underscore eight, and what label six underscore seven is. So that's why I really recommend labeling all your um, controls within Power Apps because down the line, it's going to make it a lot easier to reference back. I'm just going to show you some labeling that I use. All right. So as you can see, I have a few labels. I just have my data table right here that's connected to a SharePoint list of the foods I purchased and the quantity and the price. I just made this little data table over here with labels. So I'm just gonna label these. And this is how I would label them if I was in like uh, working on a professional application. So as you can see, we have the, uh, the top. This is just like a little header and so on my left hand side, let's see if I can zoom in and let me move my camera. All right, so as you can see, we have label six right here and I wanna work with this header. So I'm just gonna label this label header. And let's say I have a ton of um, different screens with different labels with different headers. I would actually name this something like label food header, but you don't have to do that if you're just working on like a few screens. I'm just going to leave it label header. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, this one. So it's a label. So it's on the left hand side. So I'm just referencing the value. Um, so I'm just going to do label food. And I'm just going to go down the line. This will be label date. Uh, label price. And if you don't want to type out label, you can do, I'd recommend just doing LBL. For label or you can do like capital L oh, that's like a shorthand notation you can do I mean it's really up to you what you want to abbreviate it with but if you start abbreviating it a uh, one way you should stick with it the whole power app the label quantity I didn't even spell that right in my uh my table hold on okay there we go and I don't like it being on two lines let me increase this width so for the values on the right hand side, I'll do like label food value. Just so I know that um, these are the actual values I'm using. So label date value. And it's easier to distinguish these two because if you didn't have value at the end, it'd be like difficult to uh, reference what you're looking at. So we got label quantity value. So that's one way of label um, labels actually and for the table data table i'm just going to rename this so I'll, I'll usually just use data table because that's pretty easy to um, reference so data table food so i know which i'm referencing and some other popular um, things so forms if you want to insert a form i uh, just be like form form uh, food I don't really use forms too much, so I usually just create the forms myself because um, forms can get a little fishy and uh, with like spacing and everything. But I try not to use forms, text input. I'll just do like text. Actually, no, I'll just usually do just input. So input, let's say I want like uh, input like food in this data table. I'll do like input food. So I can do like insert food. And that'll just be the default. What else do we have? Galleries. So for galleries, you can either do like gallery, gallery food, or you can do like GAL if you don't feel like typing gallery. Uh, it's really up to you what abbreviation you want to do. Or rectangles for like shapes. I'll do like uh, for rectangle. Actually, I'll do like rec underscore, or you can do shape underscore. Mainly use shapes just for like uh, graphic UI design. So if I want like a background or if I want like a transparent with a pop-up screen, that's basically when I use shapes. 
her dates. I'll just do date. So if I bought this food, we'll do date purchased. And then for buns, I'll usually just leave a bun. So if I add like a submit bun, I'll do like bun submit. Or if I had like an exit bun, I'll do bun exit. I'll change this back to submit. Uh, drop down menus. I actually probably just leave the leg drop down and underscore if you want to do drop or if you want to do DD, so you know it's a drop down. You can do that. Combo box. So for combo box, you can leave the combo box you want it. Or if you want to do CMB is a good one. So combo box. And if I had like a food, you can do that. A checkbox, you can do like CHK. Or you can do checkbox. I don't really use checkboxes too much because like they format strange. Toggles, do like PGL or toggle. Toggle is pretty short, so you can probably just do toggle. Again, I don't really use toggles too much unless I have like have it not visible on the screen and I'm just like cycling back and forth. And that's pretty much. Um, I'd say that's the most things I'll do in Power Apps with labeling. Icons, you can just leave it as icon underscore. Because it's pretty, uh, only four characters. But yeah, but the main thing just with uh, labeling in your Power App, labeling your controls, you just want it to be universal all across all your different screens. So as you can see, I have a few labels right here. I didn't label everything for my yesterday video. but you should really get in the habit of labeling everything in your power app because it'll make it a lot simpler for you referencing different components and controls later in your application so if you switch screens do you see your term number oh yeah i have input i have to input the food so it's probably input underscore food if not it's going to be like label something all right so that'll be the video for today something quick i hope you enjoyed the video leave a comment like and subscribe if you like the video leave a comment with any suggestions and I will catch you in the next one.